welcome back to the breakdown today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how you can choose the best plugins for your network or spigot server really just your minecraft server in general now every server is going to have different plugins on it but I'm gonna go over the major ones that you need on most minecraft servers and then I'm going to suggest some specific ones for each individual type of server actually next week I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to set up a faction server as well as a skyblock server and then after that I'm gonna do like basic survival plugins and things like that that you need to know when getting your survival server set up so basically I'm gonna be going over a lot of these specific but I wanted to outline some general plugins that you're gonna need for your Minecraft server no matter what and uh, talk about some more that are a little more server specific as well so first and foremost here we need to mention our sponsor which is Shockbite. go to the breakdown XYZ slash shockbite first link down below to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server that you can actually start a network server on they have easy integration of bungee cord allowing you to set up a network server with just a few clicks. Again, go check it out. That is the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash shockbite. Nevertheless, what plugins are you going to need no matter what on your Minecraft server? Well, First and foremost, you're going to need a permissions plugin. Basically, this is how you're going to manage everything from what players with no ranks have, to what owners have, to what just all of your donators have, right? With all of the stuff that they have. It allows you to separate all that and, and, and award things to certain people and not give things to other people. Now, Bucket and Spigot do have their own plugins and own permissions built in, so does Bungie Cord, but overall I wouldn't recommend using those. I would recommend using an external permissions plugin, one that's built specifically for permissions. Now there are a few out there. Pex is really good. Permissions X, that is a really, really good plug-in for permissions and that's kind of the oldie but the goodie right everybody has had some experience with permissions X I actually did a video on permissions X way back in the day because that was the best permissions plugin back then but now it's really not I mean you know starting a network server in 2018 is something that I recently did played off breakdowncraft.com come check it out and when I was looking for a permissions plugin there I was like what are we gonna go with pex I'm sure pex is still a thing and it is but from what I've researched luck perms is really what you want to go with here. Luck Perms is easy bungee integration, easy integration across your entire network of servers, allowing you to do specific ranks for specific servers or global ranks and all sorts of stuff with Luck Perms, whereas uh, PEX isn't as good for network servers. And Luck Perms also has this very easy like editor that you can open up and you know just edit everything from your computer without even having to get an FTP and do all that stuff. But you're gonna have a need an FTP to install it, but the fact that they have everything kind of laid out in a simple format is great. I absolutely love it, and I'm gonna be doing an entire video on setting up luck perms in a few weeks. So look forward to that, and that is the plugin I would recommend for permissions. On top of that, there is Bungie Perms, which is a great permissions plugin for Bungie as well. Not as good as luck perms in my opinion, but it, to each their own. If that's what you want to go with, if you look at it and say, I actually like Bungie Perms better than luck perms, well then go ahead and use that. All these plugins are linked in the description down below now from there you're gonna need some more stuff on every minecraft server you create and one of those things is world edit now world edit does help you building and things like that it also can help you know restore nature and, and, and take care of some grief even though I wouldn't recommend necessarily using it for that but what world edit does give you is the ability to use world guard and world guard is very important for every Minecraft server, specifically the ability to protect spawn areas, right? Whether it's your hub, like actual lobby spawn, or whether it's just the spawn when you log into a world, right? Nobody wants to log into a world and see grief everywhere where people have just, or even player built like houses and when you start doing that and getting into like as soon as you spawn in seeing that stuff it just gets overwhelming right so what you want to do is have a lot of area protected around your spawn and this is what world guard can do and it allows for so much more than that so you want to have your server as no pvp all around except for a specific area right you want to have like a pvp area or a pvp arena world guard allows you to make that happen that's what's so great about world guard it gives you tons of options say you want a safe area where you don't want people to be able to like get killed by mobs and things like that well guess what world guard can set that up for you you want an area where players can't kill each other but can open chests and do things like that guess what that can be done with world guards that is how important it is and that's why nearly every single minecraft server has it or has something equivalent to it from there you're also going to most likely want bycraft or engine this is how you're going to be able to sell things on your server and actually keep the doors open it costs money 
to start a Minecraft server and keep it up and running. And guess what? You want to recoup some of that money, if not hopefully all of it, and start making a profit with your server by selling things. And Bycraft slash Tibix, which is what it's now called, Bycraft has became Tibix, and uh, Engine are the best ways to do that. Both are great. Just look at whichever one you want. Personally, I use Bycraft, and we'll be doing a video on that. I did one in the past, but I'm going to be doing an updated video on Tebex slash Bycraft. So, um, yeah, pretty awesome stuff there. And uh, that's what I would recommend. You're going to need to sell stuff on your server to keep the doors open, um, especially if you want to do any kind of big marketing and scale it and do all that stuff. If you just want a small server, you're not going to need that. But if you want a big network server, you're going to need to make some money to keep it running. It's just how it works. From there, you're most likely going to want Essentials, and that's something I would recommend for most servers. Essentials allows you to do things like slash spawn, set homes, things of that nature, and for the most part, everyone's going to want that on a server. So, I recommend Essentials on most servers. Now, with that being said, sometimes you don't need that. Sometimes maybe with Skyblock or, you know, a specific mini game, and stuff, you don't need that. And that's why every single server is specific. But overall, Essentials or Essentials X really is a great plugin to look into and something you're going to need on every survival server, most faction servers, and things like that. It also can allow for like name tags and a simple sign shop and things of that nature in game. So that's a plus as well. From there, guys, what about chat? Well, you can do chat a few different ways. You can make it server specific, meaning if you have a network server, only people in Skyblock can talk to each other, only people in survival can talk to each other, or you can make it across your entire Bungie network. Whereas whenever anybody on any server talks, Everybody on every server sees it. This is good for smaller, tighter-knit communities, and we're currently running something like this, even though in the long term we probably won't run that forever. And uh, this is called a multi-chat. Multi-chat is a great plugin for keeping everything synced up on a server and... Yeah, that's what I would recommend if you're looking to do that as well. From there, as I said at the beginning, every server is different. And I do have a ton of different videos coming up on how to set up factions and prison and skyblock and a survival server and all that stuff for your network server if that's something you're looking to do. If you uh, didn't hear whatever server you're wanting to set up mentioned here, let me know in the comments and uh, I will try to add it to the list as well to make sure we can get everything covered here. I mean, why not? And on top of that, I'll be doing some tutorials on some plugins such as Luck Perms, Possibly World Guard, I don't know if that's on the list, and a few others just to make sure you get everything set up correctly on your network server like it's supposed to be. On top of all that, you can find other plugins on the websites on your screen right now, which is SpigotMC, and that's their entire Spigot plugin resource page. It's got tons of different Spigot plugins made for all different versions of Minecraft. And then on top of that, there is the Bucket Plugins site on CurseForge, which is a very trusted site. Awesome plugins over there for Bucket, and those will also work on Spigot servers, just like your Spigot plugins will also work on your Bucket servers. So you can check out those in the description down below if you are looking for a place to go find specific plugins. Just make sure it is updated and you get the correct version for whatever version of server you're running. For example, you want to get 1.12 1.2 plugins for a 1.12.2 server and 1.13 plugins for a 1.13 server. Pretty simple stuff there. You can also have custom plugins made if you've looked and looked and looked and can't find the plugin that you're wanting to do. I would recommend somewhere like MC Market, which is linked down below, mc-market.org, to uh, go in and find somebody to make a custom plugin for you. But buyer beware there. I'm not promoting anyone over there. Just know that there is a lot of developers over there and a big community of people who can easily make a uh, bucket plugin for you doing whatever you really want it to do as long as it's possible within Java and Minecraft. So there's my recommendations, guys. What did I miss? I'm sure I missed something. Let me know in the comment section down below, and we'll try to create kind of a resource in the comments where people can come and browse through and see plugins and things like that. So nevertheless, guys, comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My name is Nick. This has been, I think, episode four of how to set up a network server, and I am out, guys. Peace.